Welcome to the older and wiser and wonderful workout. My name is Sue Grand and I'm so happy you're here with us today. Now, if you've watched any of the other older and wiser workout videos, you'll happy to see Ellie with us again. You met Eve, our wild child, in our previous video, the older and much wiser workout. Eve has been busy conquering breast cancer with her usual pizzazz. Her recovery has been swift and enthusiastic. So our dear friend Cherie will be joining us today. Cherie has been dancing, I think, pretty much since the day she was born. So she's gonna be adding a wonderful dancer's spirit to the workout. Now, Ellie and Cherie are crucial to these videos because they enable you to customize the workout so it's just right for you, depending on whom you follow in each section. I'll be showing you the sort of standard version of each exercise. Cherie's gonna be adding style and flair to everything we do, so stick with her if you want a little extra challenge or some more zest. Ellie's gonna be demonstrating the easiest modification, so keep an eye on her if you wanna lighten up a bit. Ellie's gonna be standing next to a chair just for a little bit extra support and stability, so feel free to pull a chair up for yourself if that sounds like a good idea for you today. Now you're gonna notice that we're gonna do every single exercise and every single stretch in three different directions. We'll be moving forward and back and side to side and rotating a lot. This is because in real life, you also need to move in all these different directions. So it just kind of makes sense to practice this when you're exercising. That way, when you need to move in an unexpected way in your everyday life, your body's gonna say, been there, done that, no problem, I got this. To be honest, every single thing we do in this video is based on something called applied functional science, which was created by a genius, and I do mean genius, named Gary Gray. I am profoundly grateful to both Gary and his brilliant buddy, Mike Van Gilder, for helping me to design this video so that it's just right for you. You'll be happy to know that even when it looks like we're just goofing around and being silly, which you may think that when we're doing some of the imaginary scenarios in the cardio section, everything we do is based on sound scientific biomechanics. Now there are three different sections to this video. There's the low impact aerobics, the strength and balance, and the stretch. You're welcome to tackle the entire video all in one whack, but feel free to mix and match the sections depending on how much time you have and how you're feeling each day. Whatever you do, try to end with a stretch. I tell you, these applied functional science stretches are probably the best thing you can do to prevent future injuries, and they just make you feel great. Now you're gonna notice that there are two different levels to this video, level one and level two. This is to help you progress at your own pace. I recommend that you start off with level one and then progress to level two when you feel ready. All right, enough chatter, let's get started. Let's get moving. We're gonna warm up today from top to bottom, starting off with your shoulders going forward and back. Good, everything nice and easy to get started here. Take your arms in and out, little cross in front. If you can, try to cross a different arm in front each time. It doesn't really matter that much. A couple more like this. Good. Coming next is one of my favorites. Roll both shoulders back, please. Now you can roll your shoulders a little more slowly or a little more quickly. Same thing for the rest of the workout. Go at your own pace. Do what feels just right for you today. A couple more here. Now one at a time. Start on the left. There you go. Very nice. We'll do a few more like this, and then we're gonna warm up our hands and our wrists. Just two more. Let's take your hands forward and back. Very good. Two more at this slow pace. Same thing, go a little faster, please. You got this. Good, couple more. Let's go side to side now. Go to the side. Again, just a couple more at this slower pace. Good, a little faster. Very nice. All right, coming next, one of my favorites. Seems like everything's my favorite. I know, I love this stuff. Circle your wrists. If you've got any arthritis in your hands or your fingers, this is so good for those joints. Same thing, reverse it, go the other way. 
See if you can get your fingers into the act. All right, let's warm up the lower back, going forward and back. Nice, this should feel really good on your lower back. Good, couple more like this. Nice, two more forward and back. Now go side to side, side to side. It's fine if that heel comes up, if that hip lifts. Good, getting those hips mobilized a little bit. Good, two more here. All right, here comes a good one. Rotate your hips in a little circle. Again, you can go big or small. You can go a little faster, a little slower. But let's all go the other way. Good, this should feel really good on that low back region. Let's move down again. Take your knees forward. Kind of stick your fanny back a little bit, warming up those lower body muscles. Good, two more like this. Actually, that's not true. Now two more like this. Here we go, side to side. With your knees, side to side. Very good. If those feet roll a little bit with this, that's fine, that's normal. Feeling those lower body muscles getting nice and warmed up. A few more. Now take your knees in a little circle. Again, big or small, slow or fast, it doesn't matter. As long as you're moving, you win. Go the other way. Great. All right. Moving down one more time. Tap your left toe up and down to start. Standing up nice and tall. Very nice. Same thing side to side. Now, if you want to touch your hand on the back of the chair for the next one, that might be a good idea because you're going to lift up your heel and circle. Oh, doesn't that feel good, Ellie? Could do this for the entire video, it would be fine. Go the other way. Getting all those creaks out of the ankle. All right, this foot's saying, my turn. Let's go, tap it up and down. Very good. Ah, love this stuff. Side to side. Again, for this next one, you might wanna have a hand on the back of the chair, because you're kind of standing on one leg here. A little bit of a balance challenge. Lift up that heel. Ah, creak and crack. Very good, getting the twinges out of those hinges. All right, feeling good so far. Let's feel even better. Take both arms, swing them back and back and forward. Nice, easy motion. Now we're gonna be swinging our arms a lot in this video. So again, we'll do a little mini version, a little sneak preview during this warm up. Take both arms side to side, please, side. Ah, this just feels joyous. I am so glad you're working out with us today. It feels so good to move. Just a few more like this. Now keep swinging, but kind of go a little higher. About chest type, a little easier if your arms are bent. A little more challenging with arms straight. So again, do what you feel like doing today. We're gonna do the same thing here but now reach to the opposite corner, please. Reach, oh, now we're talking. This is great, you can feel your shoulder blades kind of moving on your upper spine. Really good for injury prevention. A few more like this. Now swing both arms forward and back. Ah, doesn't that feel great, Cherie? Wow. I tell you, I picked the best backup babes on the planet. We are having so much fun. A couple more, you'll hold both arms in front. Both arms in front, now cross low. Again, see if you can have a different arm cross in front each time. Very good. A couple more like this. Nice, nice easy movements. Do the same thing. Bring your arms up a little higher, please. Open up your chest, ah. This is a life, in, life is good move. A few more like that. Very nice. Two more, and march in place. Here we go. We're gonna do a series of mambo steps now. In different directions, we'll start off front and back, and then go to the side, and then we'll rotate. We'll get our feet figured out first, and then we'll add some arms. Left foot goes forward and back. Good, so just getting the feet kind of wired here at this point. We're starting off to the front. In about three more, you'll take your left foot out to the side. 
Let's try that. Left foot goes to the side. Now at this point, your foot is pointing straight ahead. In about four more like this, you're gonna put your foot in the same place, but you're gonna point it towards that side wall. Let's give that a shot. Here we go, side. Very nice, getting some beautiful rotation in your hips here. If you don't wanna rotate quite as much, you can follow Ellie, do a little less. I mean it, if you're moving, you're grooving. Now, left foot to the front. Now the fun begins. Add those arms, swing it along, going the same way as your foot. Oh boy, I love this stuff. Two more, we'll go to the side. Go to the side, here we go. Now again, you can make these big, you can make them small. Woo, look at Cherie. The gal's on fire, looking great. Two more and then we'll rotate. Here we go, rotate. Arms go along for the ride, very good. Moving in all three directions, just like you do in real life. Having a great time doing so. In two more, we're gonna change feet. Now take this leg forward, forward. That's it, whoops, can't do the arms yet. It's so tempting, isn't it? It's way too fun. Couple more with no arms. Good, and two more, we'll take that right foot to the side. Here we go, right foot, go side and back. Nice. We'll try to keep things more or less even in this video. Few more here. Good, get ready to rotate your foot to the side angle. Side, here we go. Nice. Very good. Again, really good to get these hips rotating. Just do as much as feels great for you today. In two more, we're going to the front. To the front, let's take the party forward. Very nice. Nice and big. We are definitely warmed up now, so you can make the movements a little bigger if that feels like a good idea. Two more, we'll go to the side. To the side, you know the program by now. Good. Ah, life is good when you're moving, huh? So happy you joined us. Good, and two more. We'll do that rotational mambo one more time. Let's go for it. Rotate and back. Ha ha. Very good. In four more, we're gonna change it. We're gonna keep our feet wide and just shift your weight from right to left. Shift your weight right, left, and left. Remember those arm swings we did at the beginning? Ooh, we're gonna do them big now. In two more, Cherie and I are gonna hold our arms overhead. Ellie will keep hers low. Let's try it. Overhead. Now this is a real workout. If this is too tiring with your arms over your head, follow Ellie. She's looking more wise and more wonderful by the minute. In two more, we'll put all of our arms in front of our shoulders. There you go. Again, ease your arms bent. Whoa, a lot tougher arms straight. Pick whatever feels great for you. Good, in two more, we're just gonna march in place. This leg. Now, do you remember those mambo steps we did just recently? We're gonna do the same mambo steps, but this time our arms are gonna swing in the opposite direction that our leg is going. Good luck, we need it too. This leg forward. So get your foot going first, and then there's some hope of getting the arms figured out. This one took us a long time to figure out, so if you don't get it perfectly the first time at home, it's okay. Right foot to the side, arms go the opposite way. In fact, through this entire workout, if you ever do something that's a little different than we're doing, it's completely fine. As long as you're moving, you're getting the benefits. Let's do that rotation. I think this one's kind of cool, though, when your arms go the opposite way of that mambo leg when you're rotating. We'll do a few more like this, and then we'll change feet. We'll take that left leg forward. Let's give it a go. Left leg forward, arms go the other way. Very good. Ah, we are on, on it today. Good, and two more. We'll take that left foot to the side. Left foot to the side. I had to think about it too. Which way do my arms go? We're all having a great time. A 
few more like this. Then we'll do that rotation. Good, rotate. Have that foot point out to the side wall. Excellent. You are doing so much good for your body, mind, and spirit right now, right here. In two more, you're gonna step and lift your knee. Step and lift your knee. Now slice your arms, kind of like you're slicing through a big block of ice. That's it. This is a workout. We're burning calories, strengthening our heart and lungs. Both arms up for Cherie and me. Ellie's gonna keep her arms low. Isn't this workout great? You can make it just right for you, depending on whom you follow. Woo! We're working here, and I love it. Take both arms in front of your chest, please, everyone. Good. Excellent. I hope you're feeling just great right now. We'll do a few more like this. Very nice. Two more. And march in place. Good. Now we've been having fun pretty much staying in one spot. We're gonna move across the floor now. Sideways, front and back. And then a fun little thing called a twisty walk. Watch my feet. I'm gonna do a little side step. I'm gonna call this step touch. It's just a little side step. We're doing singles now, obviously. In a few more, we're gonna take two steps each direction. Two steps, go. Two steps. You got it? Now you can make these steps a little smaller like Ellie is. Or Cherie makes everything look good. If you want, <clears throat> try adding these arm movements. Your arms go out and out. Now if these arm movements goof you up and you don't like them, do something else. Let them just relax by your side. Whatever you do, it's just fine. One more each way. Now march in place, please. Next. I'm gonna ask you to march three steps and then touch your heel on the ground. Let's try that. It's three, two, one, heel. Do the same thing, but lift your knee instead of touching your heel. Let's try that. It's three, two, one, knee. Good. Do the same thing, but walk forward on the three steps towards the TV. Come back. If you've got this one and are feeling adventurous, Try adding these arm movements. Forward, that's it. Good. All right, again, you can modify these arm movements any way you want. One more, then we're gonna do something really fun. March in place, here we go. We're gonna learn a twisty walk. You're gonna march with your feet pointing towards the side wall for eight counts, to the front for eight counts, other side wall eight counts, Meanwhile, looking straight ahead. Feet go. Eight, seven, six, five. Face front. Very nice. Feet point to the other side wall. Good. Face front. All right, I think we're ready. Let's try it. Four counts. Go. Four. And front. And side. <laughs> and front. All right, if you've got this one figured out, you're doing really well. You can add these figure eight arms. Watch our figure eight arms. They go around and back. Now you don't have to do the arm movements. Seriously, this took us quite some time to figure out in rehearsals. So don't worry if you don't get it the first time. One more. All right, face front and march. All right, let's see if we can put all those three elements together. We'll go side to side and front and back and then we'll do the twisty walk. You know the saying, if I can cue it, you can do it. Here we go, two steps, go. Nice. Make these steps big or small. Whatever you're doing, it's good. If you're on carpet, make sure you pick up your feet so your feet don't get stuck. Ready to go forward? Go forward, three steps, please. Good, ha <laughs> Nice, moving all different directions. Good, two more of these and then we're gonna do that twisty walk. Ready? Twisty walk, go! Add the figure eight arms. If you're feeling adventurous. Ooh, they really up the ante, don't they? One more each way. Good, last time. Good, and face front, march in place. 
Nice job on that section. It's fun to move a little bit across the room. Now, we're gonna do a number of sort of imaginary scenarios. The point of these scenarios isn't to do the moves exactly right. It's just to get us moving in different directions and having some fun with it. If you'd like to join us in the chair for part of this workout, that's completely fine. We're gonna step touch side to side. Let's try that. It's springtime. You're on a girls softball team. Gentlemen, you're just gonna have to bear with us here. You're gonna pitch. Now you are on your game today, this pitcher. Again, obviously, I'm not an expert slow pitch pitcher. It doesn't matter if you aren't either. But we're gonna make a catch with our other hand. Reach, ah, so pop fly. You've really gotta stretch to make this catch. Come on, everyone's watching you in the stands. Ah, good news. You caught it. Pick up your bat and bat. Maybe a single, maybe a double. Very good, swinging, getting a lot of nice rotation. Now we're gonna try to catch a grounder in a moment. Catch a grounder on this side. Good, and other side. Very nice. Now when you catch a grounder like this, stick your fanny back behind you. That'll protect your back and strengthen your legs. Good, step touch this side, please. All right, same thing. Ambidextrous athletes, right? We do everything on each side. So take your step touch a little more forward and back. We're gonna do that slow pitch with this arm. Here we go, pitch, ha. Good, you are so on your game. Every pitch is a strike. No one can hit your fabulous pitches. So that would mean it's time to catch. Catch with this hand, go. Ah, good, really reaching. So satisfying when you have to really run for that ball and you make that catch. You did, the inning is out. You get to bat, here we go. All right, let's go for a double maybe. All right, let's make it a triple. Okay, bases are loaded, two outs. Do that grand slam, ha! Good, catch a grounder, go! Other side. Now when you catch a grounder, don't have your foot right in front of the other one, off to the side a little bit. Bend in your legs, very good. We've got a lot of grounders to catch. Let's do two more. Good, and march this leg, very nice. Hope you liked the softball scenario. It's summertime, a beautiful summer day. It's early morning, so it's not too hot. You know that smell when you go outside in the summer? Oh, it's the best ever. Let's go step touch to the side. So, your job is to mow the lawn today. Take your step touch forward and back a little bit. So first thing you gotta do, right, is start up that lawnmower. Here we go. Give it a tug. It's forward and back. Now I don't know why those lawnmowers never seem to start on the first pull, right? I remember a lot of swearing from my father back in the day. <laughs> and step touch to the side. Next, this arm is one of those oscillating sprinklers. Do you know the kind I'm talking about? The water sprays overhead. We're from Southern California, so we can't use these kind of sprinklers. We just use drip systems. But I remember as a child, we had this sprinkler. My mother called it creepy crawly because it crept down the lawn. So that's this sprinkler going overhead. All right, now we've got to put some compost into our garden though. So get your shovel and dig in the wheelbarrow. So this compost is, compost is that big black loamy soil. Smells so good. You've done so well with gardening. So the weeds are coming up. Let's pull a weed. Good, now really pull it out by the roots. I tell you, is there anything more satisfying than pulling a weed out by the roots? I don't think so. Let's go step touch this side. All right, big surprise. We've got a lawnmower with two cords on it, right? Now we've got to start on the other side. 
We mowed half the lawn. Now we took a little break. We're gonna mow the other half of the lawn. Here we go. Let's pull it forward. Ah! Give it a pull. Very good. Why don't they just have start buttons on lawnmowers? I never figured that out. Anyway, it's good exercise. Ready for the sprinkler. Other hand, get that sprinkler going. Good, waving nice and big if you want, or a little smaller like Ellie is. It's all good, as long as you're moving. I tell you, you win. All right, let's get the shovel on the other side. Dig, ah, dig. Good, beautiful, dark, black, loamy compost. Your garden is so gonna love this. Very good, but now more weeds have come up. You knew that would happen, right? Let's weed. Other side. Good. That's really pull them out. My neighbor says, the more you care, the more they come about weeds. I think she's got a point. Let's do two more on each side. Rip. Good. One more each side, please. Our next imaginary scenario. You're part of a world famous symphony orchestra. People come from all over the world to hear you. First thing, you're gonna be a trombone player. So, ah, take your arm back. Now, Cherie and I have our arms going up as our trombone shoots up into the air. Ellie's being a little more conservative, keeping her trombone horizontal. When Cherie and I take our trombones up, it's strengthening these stomach muscles in a real functional, practical way. I love that part. But we're gonna move on from the trombone. Let's play the violin. So, both hands going side to side. Good, carrying the melody of the orchestra. Second violin's adding a beautiful harmony. Viola's adding a nice, rich tone. Now come the fun part. We get to conduct. That's it. So this conductor is just so wonderful to play for. He gets all the musicians so inspired. Everyone loves being a part of this group. Let's play the trombone again, though, of course. You guessed it. Gotta do everything each side, right? Again, let that trombone go up if you want. But if that doesn't feel like a good idea, follow my great, wonderful backup, Babe Ellie. Let's do a few more like this. Good. Trombones, beautiful, crisp, clear sounds blasting out. The audience is just so impressed. It sounds so great. But let's play the violin. Now the other arm, side to side with the bow arm. That's it. Everyone's in tune. Everyone's on their game. Music is magic, I tell ya. Couple more like this. All right, last time we get to conduct. Now it's the grand finale. The conductor is really inspiring all the musicians. Very good. The crowd is on their feet. They're giving a standing ovation. So the conductor's blowing kisses. Ah, ah. Good, one more each side. Good, step touch. Congratulations. You finished the main cardio section. Well done. Now we're gonna cool down gently. Stand on the right side of your chair. We're gonna take it down slowly. Take a little step and bowl with your right hand and come back. Good. And bowl. Yes, we're cooling down. We're also doing beautiful fall prevention work. You need to do this in real life, right? All right, bear with me here. You're in a gymnasium. You know those rings that the male gymnasts use? I'm pretty sure this is called the Iron Cross. Aren't you so amazed at how strong those men are? But from the gym, we're going fly fishing. Who knew? Go forward and back. Good, now to catch a fish on a fly, you gotta make that little fake fly go right in front of the fish. So really rotate and cast. From this, we're gonna go on a crew boat. You're on the Charles River. If you're standing next to a chair, Stand on the other side of the chair as you row your crew boat. Beautiful day on the Charles River. All right, we're gonna bowl again, bowl again. Other side, bowl, and come back. Beautiful fall prevention work here. 
Again, you can have a hand on the chair if you need. Very good. All right, now it's the Olympics for that iron cross. Arms go out to the side, out, and come down. Very nice. So strong, so fit. Good, one more, and then we'll go fly fishing with the other arm. Fly fishing, go back and forward, back, good, nice. A few more here, good, very nice. Two more, and march in place. One more little cool down, just to make you're sure you're safely cooled down. You're gonna stand on your right leg. Your left toe is gonna tap in front. Here we go, tap your toe. It's front and front. Good, two more here. Take your foot to the side, side. Very nice. Cooling down gently, making sure you're all the way relaxed and cooled down. Rotate your foot. You never want to just stop after you've been working out so hard. And boy, were we working out hard. Right foot to the front. Easy does it. I don't care what you do with your arms. Just let them move however you want. Right foot to the side. Your heart rate should be coming down now. I hope you're feeling just great. Last one, right foot rotates. Up, you go. Good, just a couple more. Nice, march in place, nice and easy. Congratulations, you completed the cardio section. You should be really proud of yourselves. Now you've got a choice. You can either go straight to the strength and balance or to the stretch. Whatever you do, put the TV on pause, get a little sip of water, and congratulate yourself for a job well done. Welcome to the strength and balance portion of our workout. For this section, you're going to need a sturdy chair with no arms. If possible though, try to use a chair that's not too low because we're going to be standing up and sitting down off this chair quite a few times. And as you know all too well, that can be very challenging if the chair is super low. For efficiency's sake, try to have a small chair or a table right near your primary chair so you'll have a convenient place to set your weights on when you're not using them. Now you can use two or three or four pound weights, but I suggest that you gradually increase the amount of weights that you use as you get stronger and stronger. Now we're gonna be doing the same wonderful exercises in level one and level two. We'll just be doing more repetitions and using heavier weights in level two. So with that in mind, Ellie's gonna be showing you the level one exercises and Sheree and I will be doing level two. Follow the person that you feel like following today. All right, let's get moving. We're gonna start off just doing little mini squats. So bend your knees just a little bit. Stick your fanny out back out behind you. Just doing a sort of small version of what we'll be doing in the real workout. Let's just do a couple more like this. Very good. All right, take a little rest. Next, you're gonna step forward with this foot. Not a big, huge lunge. Just a small little step, kind of giving your body a little sneak preview of the good things in store for it. Let's step forward. Now you're gonna notice that Ellie's gonna have her hand on the chair pretty much throughout the whole workout. That's completely fine. Very good, just a little step forward. All right, in a couple more, we're gonna add a little arm swing. Take your same arm and let it swing forward and back. Very nice. We're also gonna be doing a lot of arm movements in this workout. So just giving your shoulder little area, giving a little warm up. All right, let your arm relax. Take your foot to the side now. For this little side lunge, let your foot point to the front wall. Very good. Again, not a huge lunge, not yet. Just a nice, easy little side step. In a couple more, we're gonna add a little arm swing to this one. Take your arm and swing it sort of like a pendulum. Be sure to let your thumb come up at the top. A lot easier for the shoulder joint. Very good. In two more, you're gonna let your arm relax again. Now watch my foot. It's gonna to point towards the side wall, stepping in about the same place as before. Now if you don't wanna rotate quite this much, that's completely fine. You can follow Ellie. Do a little smaller rotation. 
All right, let's get the arm into the act. Do a little backhand tennis swing. Pretend like you're holding a big beach ball in that arm, so your arm's slightly bent. Very good. Getting a lot of nice rotation, moving in all different directions. All right, take a little breather. Let's stand on the other side of your chair. We'll do those same exercises on this other side. This time though, when you squat, we're gonna go a little more uh, slowly so you can have a little deeper squat. Roll shoulders. Here you go, bend your knees. Again, stick your fanny back. Now I want you to pretend that you've got a five carat diamond on this gorgeous necklace right here. You want everyone to see your necklace or if you're a gentleman, maybe it's a bow tie. So you want your chest facing towards this front wall rather than to the floor when you squat. This is really important when you're picking things up at home. It'll save your lower back, really strengthen your legs a little bit more. One more. All right, now step forward with this leg. Again, just a small little step forward. There you go. Nice. We'll be doing a lot of lunges giving the body a little sneak preview, getting it ready for the great workout that's coming up. All righty, take that same arm, let's give it a swing. Goes along for the ride, nice. This is sort of like doing proactive physical therapy. We're really preventing so many injuries here. This is so good for you. One more. Now take your foot to the side. Now you're gonna notice when we pick up the weights, we're gonna be using momentum a lot, which might be different than you're used to. This is intentional, and I'll explain in a moment. Let me get your arm going first. Let your arm swing like a pendulum. One of the ideas of applied functional science is to train movement rather than to isolate individual muscles by themselves. So we're gonna be doing a lot of movement and momentum here. Take your foot and turn it out to the side. So if you're hoping to build massive muscles and enter a bodybuilding contest next month, you're watching the wrong video. Take your arm, let's do that backhand swing again. But if you wanna get stronger and move better overall so that you can enjoy doing all the activities that you like to do every day, stick with us. You're doing just the right thing. Very nice. All right, we are warmed up. Pick up your weights if you would, please. Stand on the same side of your chair. We're gonna start off with your arms straight and just let your fist swing up to your shoulder. Let's give it a try. So up and down, very nice. So you notice we're using momentum. We're letting all our muscles work together, not isolating anything. All this is on purpose. It's so good. Keep swinging, but swing your arms a little behind you. Try to keep your shoulders down. Neck nice and long. Very good. We'll do a few more like this. All right, if you're following Ellie in level one, you can take a little breather here. Level two, take your foot forward, but don't be standing on a tightrope. Have some width between your feet. You're gonna swing your arms forward and back, but in a full range of motion this time. Let's give that a try. Here we go. Knees up. So swing all the way forward and all the way back. Very nice. Strengthening so many muscles all at one time. This is great. Very nice. Just a couple more. You did it. Let's do those same exercises on the other side of the chair. So we'll start off with feet about hip width apart. Again, roll those shoulders just because it feels so good. We'll start off bringing your fist to your shoulder. Let's go for it. Here we go. Knees up and up. So swinging mostly in front right now. Very good. Keep swinging. We're strengthening your neuromuscular system, your nerves and your muscles as you swing using motion. Good, swing back a little bit. Motion is the breath of life. So many good things happen when you move your body. And boy, are we moving. All right, Ellie in level one, you can take a little rest. If you're with level two, take this foot forward. Again, don't stand in a tightrope, that'd be too hard. You're gonna swing your arms forward and back. Big full range of motion this time. You ready, Cherie? 
she's always ready. Here we go, forward and back. Very good. Strengthening so many muscles. Beautiful. All right, last time. And put the weights on that second chair or the table, if you would, please. Good, we'll be using the weights again soon. Stand in front of your chair, put your right foot forward, left foot back. Have a seat. Now notice the different hand positions. Ellie's pushing with her hands off of her thighs, completely fine. Sheree and I are gonna make it a little more challenging with our arms folded across our chest. Doesn't matter what you do. Now level one, you've got one more of these. Good, level one, you're done with the sit to stands for now. Level two, if you want, let's shoot for two more. Try to sit down as slowly as you can. All right, level two, let's just do one more if you can. Good, get your fanny way back there. Very nice. Let's all stand on this side of the chair. I'm gonna ask you to step forward with this foot a little farther than in the warm up. So step forward, good. Now notice the different arm position choices you have here. Cherie's bringing her arms overhead. She's strengthening her stomach muscles as they come back behind. Ellie's keeping her arms low. Level one, you're done. Level two, we're gonna do two more of these. Very good. All right, let's all take a rest, roll your shoulders. Take this foot forward, off to the side a little bit. I'm gonna ask you to reach forward at about chest height. All right, I want you to imagine that you're inside a magic giant bubble. Reach a little bit lower here. The object of these reaching exercises is to go as far as you can. So you're trying to pop this bubble. Really reaching, giving it everything you've got. Gradually work your way back up to chest height. Now we're gonna put our hand on the chair for this next part, just for a little extra stability. Reach up and up. Now as we get older, we tend to sort of shrink inward a little bit, partly due to gravity, maybe some arthritis, maybe inactivity. These reaching activities are so good to really expand your sphere of function, making it nice and big and robust. We'll be doing them in all different directions. You're doing great so far. Last one, very nice. Let's practice our balance. I'm gonna ask you to stand on this leg with your knees slightly bent. Keep a hand on the chair to start here. Tap your toe forward and back. Now it really helps when you're balancing to lock your eyes on something that's not moving. We're trying having our arms go the opposite way. If you can, maybe have that hand just hovering over the chair. Balance needs to be studied in motion because that's when you need it in everyday life. Very nice, all right. Shake out a bit. Let's stand in front of the chair and we'll do those sit to stands. This time, this foot's gonna be forward though. Again, pick your arm position, folded arms, hands on thighs, it's all good. Have a seat. Now, in my opinion, I think these sit to stand exercises are probably about the best exercise you can possibly do, the most practicable, the most realistic exercise that you can do, right? So level one, you're gonna do one more. Very good. See how slowly you can sit down. Try not to just plop down. Level one, ah, oh, she's on it. You're done. All right, level two, Cherie, let's do one more after this. If you're ever in a really low, squishy couch or chair and you can't get up, Think of the cue, nose over toes. All right, everyone stand on the other side of the chair. Let's take a step forward with this foot. Again, don't be in a tightrope. Off to the side just a little bit. That's it. Now again, follow the person that you feel like following. I know I've said that a lot today, but I really mean it. I want this workout to be just right for you. Good news, level one. You're done with these. Level two, we'll just do a couple more. That's it, very good. All right, let's all take a little breather. Let's practice that reaching exercise with this foot forward. Have some width between your feet. Here we go, reach forward about chest height. This time though, I want you to pretend that your 
arms are the spokes on a bicycle wheel. It's one of those giant bicycle wheels. You know those old fashioned bikes with the big wheel in the back? Sorry, big wheel in the front. Back wheel is really small. You're the front wheel, the big one. Reaching as far as you can. Really expanding your sphere of function. We're gonna reach back a little bit, just for stability's sake. We're gonna put our hand on the chair. It's fine if that heel comes up as you reach up. Now you're gonna really notice, as you practice these reaching exercises, you're gonna be able to go farther and farther every week you do them. Gradually work your way back to chest height. Ah, oh, these are so good. All right, just a couple more. Can you reach a little farther? Good, come back to chest height. You did it. All righty, stand on the same side of the chair. Let's practice our balance on this other leg. Standing on this leg, knees slightly bent. Tapping your toe, this time the arm's going in the same direction as that foot. If you can, maybe have that hand hovering over the chair. Lock your eyes on some sort of visual target that's not moving, that really helps. Standing up nice and tall, you should be a little wobbly. You should be needing to regain your balance with this one. Very nice. All right, pick up your weights, please. We finished all the exercises going forward and back. Now we're gonna do exercises going side to side. So I'm gonna ask you to stand in front of your chair, lift your arms going side to side. Now a little easier with arms bent, a little tougher with arms straight. So you pick, thumbs are up, hips are definitely swinging. We're gonna change this. Let your right arm hang down and rest. Let your other arm swing. Yep, let the hips go. You want all your muscles to work together, just like in real life. Very nice. Oh, you look great, Ellie. All right, let's alternate again, side to side, side to side. Very good. We're training your neuromuscular system, your nerves and your muscles. Not isolating anything. You're gonna be moving so much better. Let your other arm rest. Right arm swings. Good, let that thumb come up. Your shoulder joint will thank you for it. All right, in a few more, level one's gonna take a little break. Level two is gonna go back to side to side. Ellie, you're done. Shuri, let's go for a few more. This will be a short set, I promise. Good, right arm hangs down. Let the other arm swing. Very good. Couple more. Let's go side to side one more time, I promise. You know what, if you're tired and you need to take a break, that's so okay. Other arm rests. Let that right arm swing. Very good. Last two. And last one, very nice. Woo, that's a doozy. You did great. Next, Ellie's gonna do some side tilts. It'll look like this. She's gonna let her arms sort of skim down the side of her leg. Cherie and I are gonna take our arm overhead. We'll do a little one to start, making sure it's okay. If it feels great, you can reach a little farther. There you go. Strengthening muscles side to side. All right, level one. You can take a little time out. Level two, let's just do a couple more. Very good. And we're done with that. Put your weights back on the table or the chair if you would, please. Bravo, bravo. Stand in front of your chair for me. This time I'm gonna ask you to stand with your feet nice and wide. We're gonna be standing up and sitting down again. Arms are folded, pushing off your chair or your thighs, it's fine, have a seat. Can you go even more slowly? Oh. That's so hard. Try not to let yourself just plop down. Talk about good exercise for fall prevention. These are the muscles that are gonna keep you up when you regain your balance. All right, you know the story now, right? Level one, this is your last one. Very nice. Level two, let's see if we can squeak out just two more of these. Ha! Ah, we're on a roll today, I tell ya. All right, one more, sit to stand. Very good. And come on up. Very nice. Stand on this side of the chair. 
This time I'm going to ask you to step out with your foot to the side, a little side lunge. You can have your hand on the chair if you want. You know the routine by now, right? Pick your hand position. You can either do a little row like I am, or arms overhead like Cherie, or let your arms relax. All right, level one, that was fast. You're done with the side lunges, level two. Let's just do two more. Very good. Excellent. All right, stand behind your chair, please. With your feet nice and wide, I want to imagine that you're underneath a rainbow. So you're gonna reach up. Now reach over to the side a little bit. Now there's a wall of shimmering rain in front of you and you don't wanna get wet. You wanna reach over as far as humanly possible, reaching way over to the side. Keep reaching, but gradually work your way back up to center. The farther you reach, the more you win in this one. These are harder than they look though, aren't they? They're so great for you. Gradually reach over to the other side. Ah, reach. You can just tell, this feels sort of like doctor's orders. The fountain of youth. Few more reaches. Don't get wet though, don't lean forward. Ah, reach a little farther. Gradually work your way back up to center. Woo, these are great. Going to the top of the rainbow through all the colors. I think red's on the top, right? Can you reach the red? All the way up. Okay, let's practice our balance now. I'm gonna ask you to stand sideways to the chair. You're gonna take your back foot. Make sure you have a hand on the chair. You're gonna tap your toe if you were looking at a clock face, sort of three o'clock to nine o'clock. Again, that standing leg, that knee is slightly bent. Lock your eyes onto some sort of target that's not moving. Have your hand just hovering over the chair. Fool around with this a little bit. Challenge yourself, try going faster, slower. Very good. This is a great challenge. All right, let's take a little breather. We're gonna stand on this side of the chair you're gonna step to the side with this foot. You're ready to rumble, let's go. Side, and up. Again, you know all those great choices you have. You can sure make this video just right for you, depending on whom you follow. With that in mind, Ellie, she's done. Cherie, let's go for two more. Very nice. And one more. Bravo. Turn to the side wall again. Let's practice our balance. This time you'll take your back foot and again, tap it side to side. Let's try, ooh, it's even harder with your arm going the same way. Now, if you were a kid, you'd be messing around with this, right? You'd say, oh, what happens when I try it slower? What happens when I try it faster? Just play around with it. Just a couple more here. Very good. All right, pick up your weights, please. That was fast. We finished all the exercises going side to side. Now we're gonna do a little more rotation. So stand in front of your chair for me, please. Feet are about hip width apart. Take your arm and do a slow uppercut. Notice our hips are turning, our heels coming up. We're gonna keep doing this slowly so you can get a nice big range of motion. Think about sort of kissing your biceps. Good, getting some beautiful rotation here. We'll do a few more like this, then we're gonna change it, and your right arm is gonna rotate behind you. Let's practice that. Right arm comes behind you, and other arm. Oh, hello stomach muscles, wow. They really have to work hard to slow down, to decelerate this motion. All right, level one, you're done. Sheree, let's do those uppercuts again. Up, and up, very nice. This will be a short set, I promise. Right arm goes back behind you. Ooh, we're working. One more, please. Very nice. Beautiful. Put the weights to the side. There we go. One more set of sit to stands. This time, you're gonna have your feet pointed outside a little bit, externally rotating. Have a seat, nice and slow. Good, and come on up. Again, you can modify these foot positions any way you want. This might actually be a little easier for your knees, so 
So if that's the case, you can just do these every time. You know what I'm gonna say, right? Level one, whew! You can take a break right here. Level two, let's try for two more. Good, sitting down nice and slow, doing the best thing you can for your body, mind, and spirit. Last time, very good. And come up. Stand on this side of the chair. One more set of lo rotational lunges. This time your foot's gonna point to the side wall. Ready, let's go for it. To the side wall and back. Very good. Nice, so important to practice rotating when you're exercising, because in real life you'll do it all the time. Level one, you can take a breather. Level two, let's do two more. Very good. All right. I'm gonna ask everyone to stand behind the chair. Put on your superhero costume, because you're Superman or Superwoman. You're gonna push forward. Now, I want you to push around as far as you can behind the corner, because you are a superhero. You have the power to push away all the evil in the world. So all the sad things, the bad things, if you push hard enough, especially moving those hips, because that's where the power's from, right? You're just eliminating all the bad things in the world. But you've really got to push to make it work. Good, keep pushing. Let's go back the other way. What are we really doing? We're mobilizing your hips, mobilizing your shoulder blades. This is so good for injury prevention, especially if you let your hips go. Rotate behind your shoulder as much as you can. Gradually work your way back up to center. Really pushing. Push like you mean it. Ah, oh, this is a great exercise. Work your way back up. Gradually to center. All right, you pushed all the evil away. Only hope and joy and love are left. Woohoo! Let's practice our balance on this side. Hand on the chair, definitely. Take your back leg. This time you're gonna see if you can rotate it around as far as you can, front and back. Again, arms going the opposite way. Tap in your toe. If you want, try it faster or slower. If you really feel adventurous, try maybe not touching your toe. Oh, that's hard. Now this one is the most difficult, I think. So be sure you have your hand on the chair. If you're wobbling a little bit, though that's good. We're throwing ourselves a little bit off balance training your body to regain its balance without even thinking about it. Just like you need to in real life, right? All right, let's go to this side of the chair. One more set of rotational lunges. This time, this foot is gonna point towards that side wall. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. We're almost done. Hang in there with us, you're doing great. Rotational lunge, go to the side and back. Very good. I bet you're an expert at this by now, right? Couple more. All right, level one. Woo, you're done with these. Level two, we've only got two more. If you need to take a break though at any point, you know it's always fine. Very good. All right, let's practice our balance. This time facing sideways, your back leg will rotate. Standing knee is slightly bent, arms going the same way. Tapping that toe. Very good. Again, it's good if you wobble, if you have to put your foot down. That's what you're shooting for here. Balance needs to be studied in motion because that's when you need it in real life. Very good. Just a couple more. Well done. All righty, just one more thing to do. We're gonna end up our workout today with push-ups, but we're gonna change the hand positions. I'm gonna ask you to start with your hands at about shoulder height and shoulder width. Level one, stand a little closer to the wall. Level two, it's a lot harder if you stand farther away from the wall. Now bend your elbows as your chest come towards the wall. Very good. These push-ups are so great doing them on the wall. You can make them easy if you stand close to the wall and pretty tough if you stand far away. Level one, you're done. Level two, we're just gonna do a couple more. That's it. Very good. All right, everyone, roll your wrists for a second. Take your front hand a little higher, back hand a little lower. lower. Let's do the same thing. Down you go, and up. It's okay if your heels come up off the floor. 
too easy? Stand a little farther away from the wall. Not hard enough? Take a step back a little bit. Level one, you can take a breather here. Level two, we've got a couple more. Very nice. All righty, everyone, take a break. Almost there. Other hands a little higher, other hands a little lower. All right, let's do this. Bend your elbows. Try to keep your body nice and straight. Remember to breathe. It's helpful if you think about breathing as your arms are straightening. But whatever you do, just don't hold your breath. Good, one more like this for level one. Very nice, level two. How about a couple more? Very good. And last one. All right, fabulous news. You are done with the strength and balance section. I highly recommend that you join us for the stretch. We'll see you there. I'm so glad you made time to stretch with us today. These applied functional science stretches are probably the best thing you can do to prevent future injuries. Plus, they're just gonna make you feel great. So I'm gonna ask you to start off today by putting your foot forward, but don't put it right in front of the other one. Have some width between your feet again. Ellie's gonna keep one hand on the chair the entire time. She's still gonna get the same beautiful benefits. Reach back as far as you can, and then forward as far as you can. Now feel free to go at your own tempo with these stretches, just like everything else in the workout. You don't have to follow us exactly. As long as you're moving, you're getting such amazing benefits. Hold your arms up here. Now just gently let your arms drift side to side. With this one, I like to kind of imagine that my arms are real supple branches to a tree that's just kind of blowing in a gentle little breeze side to side. Oh, this is so good. Take your arms down a little bit and then rotate around about shoulder height. See how far around you can go. If you keep looking straight ahead, you'll get some nice rotation in that cervical spine, your neck, or you can look behind you if you want. Whatever you do, it's great. Very nice. All right, let's do those same wonderful stretches on the other side of the chair. So again, when you put your foot forward, make sure it's not right in front of the other one. That would be too hard to balance. We're not challenging our balance, and balance here. We're, this is like dessert. All right, stretch forward. Nice, easy stretch. Come up behind you as far as you can. If you feel more comfortable, though, with a hand on the chair, you're still gonna get the same wonderful 3D stretches, stretching in all different planes of motion. How about just one more like this? Ah, let your arms stay up and then drift over again to the side. Again, you don't have to follow us exactly. The point is just to move your body in these three very distinct directions, getting as full range of motion as you can. Let's gradually take our arms a little bit lower. Nice. Now you can either look behind your shoulder if you want, or keep looking straight ahead. If you get dizzy, you might be happier just looking straight ahead. This should feel great. I like to imagine that my arms are kind of swooshing through water. If it's freezing cold outside, it can be warm water. If it's hotter than the Dickens outside, it can be nice cold water. All right, I'm gonna ask you to stand behind your chair, please. Stand pretty close to the chair have your hands on the top of the chair. Take your foot back, but take a look at that foot. I guarantee you it's gonna to wanna to turn out to the side. I'm gonna ask you turn it in so it's almost pigeon-toed. Now push your front knee forward, keep your back heel on the ground, and you're gonna feel a luscious stretch in that calf on the back leg. Very nice. Stretching out forward and back now, your calf should be saying, thank you, thank you. You notice we're stretching while we're moving though. It's very intentional. Keep your knee forward and now let your hips go side to side. There you go. Now we're stretching out that same calf in that side to side plane, a little bit different maybe than you're used to. Now rotate your hips. Now we're getting that rotational plane. 
Want a fancy word? We're using the transverse plane now to stretch out our back calf. Very good. This should feel really fabulous. All right, let's give that other calf equal time. I think it's saying, me too, me too. This knee, front knee stays pretty close to the chair. Body's nice and tall. Uh-oh, check that back foot though. It's gonna wanna turn out to the side, but you'll get a lot better stretch, a lot more effective if it's almost pigeon-toed, turned in a little bit. So you wanna think about your muscles as kind of like a rubber band. When you lengthen a rubber band, it's storing energy, right? And then when it shortens, it contracts. That's how it produces force. Same thing with your muscles. So you want that muscle to practice moving, lengthening to store energy, and then contracting to produce force. Keep this knee forward, please, and let your hips go side to side. Very good. Stretching in all three planes of motion, front, back, side to side, rotating all day long. Your muscles are constructed in three different planes of motion, so it makes sense to stretch them. That being said, let's rotate the hips a little bit. Now you can either circle your hips here or rotate them. Doesn't matter. It's all so good. Let's just do a couple more. All right, very nice. Your calves are saying thank you. I'm gonna ask you to stand on this side of the chair, please. Put your weight on this leg. Put this leg forward. If you can, lift up these toes. Take a deep breath in, lengthen your spine. Keep your shoulders back as you dip your torso down and up. So back to that rubber band thing. That's the reason that we stretch while we're moving with applied functional science, because in real life, your bodies, your muscles are constantly needing to lengthen so they can store energy and then contract so they can do the things for you that you wanna do. There's not many times in real life when you need to have a muscle lengthened stationary and holding it. So we try to emulate what you do in real life as much as possible. Next time your torso is low, hold it low please, shoulders are back, and let your foot kind of wave side to side, kind of like a little windshield wiper action. Good. Very nice. All right, hold center. Take your hand and put it on the chair. Rotate your torso as much as you can so you're facing that side wall. Keeping your shoulders back, dip that torso down and up. You might feel a slightly different area getting stretched. That's fine. Whatever you're feeling, believe me, it's right. Down and up. Good. How about just one more like this? Now take your hand off the chair. Let's rotate the other way. This time your torso is facing this other side wall. Down and up. Might feel a little more stretch here. A-okay. If this feels more like a strain though, when you're not having much fun, if you drop that toe, it's a lot easier. So again, don't ever push these stretches, just do what feels great for you. All right, back the legs, legs, calves are very happy. Let's stretch out these muscles right here. I'm gonna ask you to put this foot back. Again, take a peek. I guarantee you that foot's gonna wanna cheat out and go to the side. Turn it in a little bit, and then push your front knee forward but let, let your back heel come up. It's okay to try to keep that leg somewhat straight, that back leg. You should feel a great stretch in these muscles here that connect your thigh to your trunk. So obviously we're going forward and back now. Do the same thing, but take your arm over both ears. Oh, now you're getting a lot of bang for your buck. You should feel a fabulous stretch. These muscles are called your hip flexor muscles, and they're very powerful, but if you sit too much, they get really tight. Do the same reach, put it about shoulder height, and look behind your shoulder. And when these muscles get tight, oh my goodness, they can cause knee problems, low back problems, rotator cuff problems. One of the best things you can do is this stretch here for injury prevention. Very nice, all right. That side's feeling dandy. Stand behind your chair, please. I'm gonna ask you to stand and walk your feet back enough so that you're sort of at a right angle with your legs and your trunk. Take a deep breath in, let your chest come up a little bit. When you breathe out, let your chest come down. Good, breathe in, chest comes up. 
and exhale down. Now, if you've done yoga, you'll probably recognize this as a nice modified downward dog position. It's so wonderful because you get the, your back of your legs and your calves and your upper body. Good, let's go one more like this. Breathe in in a little bit, chest comes down. As you come up, hold your chest down. Now, slowly <laughs> wag your tail. Really pray that your neighbors aren't peeking in the window right now. But if you're all by yourself, you're gonna feel a great stretch in the back of your right leg and left leg as you go side to side. This one feels so great. Hold center, please. Now let your right armpit come down as you look up to the left. Keep both hands on the chair here. Gradually rotate the other way. You should feel just an amazingly great stretch. Keep rotating at your own pace along your arms, along your side. Talk about a multitasker stretch. This one's a doozy. All right, somehow work your way back up to behind the chair. Stand with your feet really wide. I'm gonna ask you to shift your weight from side to side. If your feet are wide enough, you'll feel a really beautiful stretch in your inner thighs here. Again, moving, letting those muscles practice like that rubber band, stretching, lengthening, and shortening. Next time this knee is bent though, hold it bent, keep it here. Take that same arm and let your hips go forward and back as your arm swings up and down. Good, you should feel a good stretch in the right inner thigh here. Next time your arm is up, hold it up please. And then again, just let it drift over to the side and drift over. Our rubber bands are getting so supple and flexible. Keep reaching, but take your arm about shoulder height and reach around the corner. Very good. Maybe we'll just do a couple more like this. Good. All right, let's go back to shifting our weight from side to side. So shift over to the side and keep shifting. All right, this one, your inner thigh is feeling pretty dandy. This one's saying, how about me? Next time this knee is bent, hold it bent and take that same arm. Again, you could go at any pace you want. If you wanna go slower, you wanna go faster, that's fine. Whatever feels great for you. Your body will benefit so much as you move, as you stretch. Next time your arm is up, though, hold it up, please. Let's do that wonderful side to side. Ah, I hope you're feeling great at home. You're doing such good things for your body right here from head to toe. Keep reaching, please. And then rotate around. Ah, very good. Maybe just a couple more like this. Very nice. All right, somehow get your feet back up to center. It's always good to shaky shaky. Let's do those same two stretches on this side of the chair. Stand on this leg. This toe is lifted, standing nice and tall. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Keep those shoulders back as your torso dips down and up. Now again, if this is too much with your toe lifted, more like a strain rather than a stretch, you can always just let that toe drop down completely great. You might feel this in the back of your leg, back of your calf, it's all good. Wherever you're feeling it, that's where you're needing it. Getting that rubber band nice and loose. Next time your torso is low though, hold it down please. Let's go side to side with your foot. Good, stretching out the back of your leg and your calf in the side to side plane, that frontal plane, another fancy term. All right, hold center. Put this hand on the chair. Rotate your torso as much as you can this way. Keeping your shoulders back, try dipping your torso down and up here. Very good. So I really want to prepare your muscles to be lengthened in any direction because who knows what's gonna to happen tomorrow afternoon when you go outside. So I'm really trying to cover all the bases here, to keep you injury free. All right, take your hand off the chair. Again, try to rotate the other way. That's it, down and up. I'm feeling this a little bit more in my outer thigh. Who knows where you're feeling it? I hope you're enjoying it. This is such good stuff. 
And good, come on back. Let's stretch out these muscles here. So take that foot back one more time. Take a peek, turn it in so it's pigeon toed. There you go, let's push that knee forward. So I like to think of flexibility as sort of being the cornerstone of fitness. If these muscles aren't long enough to be able to lengthen and contract, nothing else really good can happen. So keep doing these stretches as much as you can. With this stretch, remember your back heel is coming up. That back leg is staying more or less straight. Doesn't have to be perfectly straight, ours sure are. Take that arm and go over your ears. Oh, man, this is the money stretch, right? This one is so good for you. If you sit a lot, like we all do, these muscles get really tight and they can wreak havoc up and down the body. This is such a wonderful stretch. With that in mind, let's rotate a little bit, coming around behind you. Let's just do a couple more, wrap things up here. Getting a beautiful stretch. Very nice. All right, stand up tall. I've got great news for you. You are done with the workout today. I'd like to thank my wonderful backup babes, Ellie and Cherie. Honest to goodness, I could not have done this without them. They are the most amazing people. But you know what? Most of all, I'd like to thank you for joining us today. You should be so proud of yourself. We'll see you next time.